this uh, video solution is the second uh, problem on the ADC and DAC and this uh, problem is of uh, linked answer type problem and uh, it's of uh, gate uh, 2007 and uh, it's of 2 plus 2 marks since so there are two parts each of 2 marks each and basically the problem is on digital to analog converters. Now uh, we can see, uh, read out the problem. In the digital to analog converter circuit shown in the figure below, VR is given to be 10 volts and R resistance is given 10 kilo ohms. The first part is we have to determine the current I in the network and second part is to determine the voltage V0 in the given network. We will see that uh, what is the corresponding network. Yeah, if you see here, uh, this is the uh, given network. Here, uh, you can notice here, uh, this is D2A converter and D2A converter is having R to R ladder network at its uh, input and this is the corresponding operation amplifier in inverting mode and uh, we have to determine two things here first part is to determine the current uh, in this branch of the circuit and second part is to determine the output voltage here at the output of the operation amplifier so these are two parts which we have to determine so uh, uh, we will see this, uh, uh, say in this uh, circuit itself, you can notice here the negative input is the inverting input of the operation amplifier, non-inverting input is connected to ground, so this will also be at the virtual ground. Once it is at ground, these terminals like this and these terminals would also be at the ground potential. If there are ground potential, the network uh, is simplified greatly and uh, we will see that how the network is simplified and uh, how we determine the current and the voltage at the output. You can uh, see here, uh, mm, uh, we can see some observations here like uh, DAC is using R to R ladder network. We are 10 volts and the resistance given in 10 kN ohms and output is taken output is taken from the inverting amplifier. So you can determine I and V naught. Okay. So now see how this network uh, uh, would be simplified. Uh, we can see here the resistive network which is connected uh, at the input of the uh, operation amplifier uh, would be uh, simplified. We can see uh, this is the network which is connected at the input of the operation amplifier. Now, in this network, the points which are going to inverting terminal have been uh, put to ground here. So, this network could be simplified. You can notice here this 2R in parallel with this 2R will make a resistor R and that R would be in series with this R. So this will be R in series with this R. Okay, this is a simplified network. Next it will be simplified. This R in series with R will make uh, 2R. This will be in parallel to 2R and the combination will give me R. So this is R here. This is further R plus R is R, 2R and 2R in parallel with 2R will make again R, so this will be in this form and uh, again this R plus R, 2R in parallel with 2R will make me R. So this is the simplified uh, resistor network and the value for VR is given. Knowing the value for VR, we can determine the current I here in this network. So we can see the current I is given here, the current I uh, you can notice here the current I is VR by R that means uh, this is 
we are strain volts that's the resistance is 10 kilo ohms so it will be 1 milli amperes so 1 milli ampere would be the current i here but uh, we have to determine the current uh, see here uh, we have to determine current uh, into this part of the network okay so we can observe here how we do that is uh, see here this is the uh, input network the current i here would get divided into two parts i by 2 and i by 2 into this network because this is 2r this also effectively 2r so it will divide half half again at this junction the current would further divide it will be i by 4 i by 4 Again, further at this junction, it will be I by 8, I by 8, and this junction will be I by 16, I by 16. So the current I at this indicated uh, branch would be I by 16. So we can uh, determine this current I is I by 16. That is 1 milliamperes divided by 16 will make me 62.5 microamperes. This is the current I which is flowing into this branch this was the first part now the second part is to determine the output output we can determine you can notice here the current uh, entering from this side is i by 4 this is i by 16 so the total current will be i by 16 plus i by 4 it will make 5 i by 16 this is the total current which is flowing into the inverting terminal but since this impedance of the off amp inverting terminal is very high whole of the current will flow through this feedback resistor so this current 5 by 16 milliamperes we can determine the voltage v naught would be i into r because current would be flowing in this direction be positive terminals negative so it be negative voltage so it will be i is 5 by 16 and r is 10 kilo ohms this is milliamperes so this will give minus 50 over 16 volts so if you sorry sorry this is v naught is uh, again I'll repeat v naught is minus 10 into the current 5 this is 10 K 10 K this is in milliamperes it will make uh, uh, minus 50 by 16 volts and this if you simplify it will become minus 3.125 volts so this is the option C as per this choice so both the parts uh, have been simplified here so uh, what we observe uh, that the problems uh, which uh, look a little complex by the circuit arrangement they are basically a very simple problem but uh, the basic thing is you should be able to uh, understand the problem and uh, once you are able to understand the problem the calculations normally are quite simple and the problem is also uh, very simple thank you